and we're rolling hey what's up everybody this is fd from rolling with fd and i want to tell you all about the 5,000 subscriber contest First of all, subscribe. Once you subscribe to the channel, you make yourself eligible for the contest. And these are the breakdowns or the tiers for winners. For the first place winner, that individual will get a card or cards up to $1,000 for the names of the players that they have sent in. The second place winner will get a card or cards up to $250 for the names of the athletes that they have sent in. Now for third place, that's going to be broken down into five different winners. And those winners will receive Rolling With FD merch of their choice. And one of those winners will get two pieces of Rolling With FD merchandise. I want for everybody out there to remember, in order to be eligible for the contest, you must first subscribe. So please do. I'm excited about this. G is excited about this. This is really cool. Help us get to 5,000 subscribers. Hey, what's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to Rolling With FD. And today in this show, we're going to the Newport Showcase. This is always a wonderful show. I can't wait to see what we find. Again, I usually go in with an open mind and let the show kind of dictate to me what cars are available that day. Looking forward to these conversations. Let's go, G. Who's rolling with FD? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. What? Who's rolling with FD? I'm rolling with FD. Talk to him. Welcome back to the Newport Showcase. This is always a great show. As we walk in, it's good to have Junior with us, we have G with us, and we have my daughter Haley with us. What's up, Haley? Let's get in here and talk to people, be a part of the community, and see what the cars look like. Who you got winning the series, bro? Where's the sound? Yeah, bro. Me too. Hey, look at some of these. Oh, yeah? Look at this braiding. Oh, wow. So you're going to see some nice stuff at this show. All these are hard to find. Like, this is a die cut car, very hard to find. Yeah, the platinum medallion? Yeah. Yeah, very hard. Plus, you know, great. Yeah, that's crazy. Yep. You always have great stuff, bro. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I bought it off Daniel, actually. An in person sign. You don't see a lot of Vinatieri's, you know. Man, that's a bomb Nobody, car, bro. Not too many kickers. Like, well, like, Vinatieri is the kicker. Like Vinatieri Tucker, and then maybe. The kicker. Yeah. You locked in at 650? Yeah, a little bit of room on that. We'll come back and talk okay. to you. That's a card, yeah. man. I get excited about Vinatieri, man. He might he might be the first Let's first ballot see. Hall of Famer kicker. Yeah. Card. It's got actual, yeah, so the card will always hold some kind of value. I mean, it's been a tear. Nice, man. Paper jam. Do I wear your shirts? People like, are you paper jam? <laughs> who do you got winning the finals, bro? You know who I want. I think I think you're gonna be happy, bro. Yeah. Oh, the Brady card. Yeah. You always have my Brady stuff, man. I like them a lot, you know. I kind of stick to the guys I know or who I like. Yeah, I'm blind, you know. I like the old school Marvin Harris. Yeah. I'll be back, bro. Okay. All right, I'm taking a seat, man. <laughs> We're a fan of fist bumps, huh? That's awesome. Can I see this jaw card? Cool, bro. I'm sending this picture to JD. He said, if you see any Kyrie, you let me know. It's in the West. Cool car. There you go, sir. Thank you, man. Good one. Yep. How about you? It's our day. See this jaw card? Can I see that card? Oh, yeah, of course, man. How you doing, man? How you doing, bro? Oh, cool, man. Well, what that be, right? Yeah, how you doing? Oh, What's your name? Jose. Jose, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you. Nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sure, man. You, you just get the little Star Wars vlog? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, man. I like watching your guys collab. Cool man. car, bro. Out of 99. How'd you come up about this, bro? Oh, a trade. I traded into this earlier in the season. They don't pop up. Pop six. No, they don't. No, they don't. You on eBay for 50. I traded into it. It was roughly around the comp. Okay. And it was a traded. Uh, the guy wanted cash, and he wanted an MJ Fleer. MJ Fleer just transacts so easy. Yeah, man. It was a it's liquid all day. Liquid. So yeah. I was like, that's a no-brainer. Going for a pop six from a pop to a great move. You know what I mean? Great I, move. I don't mind holding. Yeah, you bro. Know what I, mean? I don't mind holding. It's a yeah, great card, man. Appreciate that, V man. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Did this stuff very cool. That looks cool. It actually looked cool. <laughs> the cartoon version, right? Yeah. I always see great cards at the show. Sir, pleasure. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. How you doing? What's your name? Neil. Neil. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jeff. May I see? Just drop Absolutely. Go ahead and pull it. What's the price on it? 16. Oh, cool. Thank you, brother. Yeah, my pleasure. What about this Sierra Fox? Sierra Fox is 16 as well, actually. Below it, it's a nice car. Yeah. How you doing, brother? Good. How you doing, brother? Kyle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. Oh, just browsing around, really. Dark Side Games in Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we met some people before at your store. Yeah, we dabble in sports. A little bit. Yeah. Literally, That's the same thing they said. You're right. 
We are probably the biggest CCG store in Vegas, so. It's you and it's game day, right? Uh, us, game day, legacy sports cards, but we're the TCG store, so. Yeah. Like, we're probably, you know, if you have Burbank and sports cards, we're yeah. probably the Burbank and Magic. So, like, our Magic inventory is how much? Uh, easily four mil. Of cards. Understand? That Jerry Dude, what's the price of that? I think our asking price is four. Nice card, man. Especially with uh, Russ being there. Yeah. Right now, the biggest card we have is this guy right here. That one of one to move home. Can I, may I see that card? Yeah. May I tell my grandchildren that I held that card? You can tell your grandchildren you held that card. I'll even let have you take a picture with it. That's a card, bro. It's not the first one one kaboom we had, though. So we had a one on one Giannis. It actually broke the kaboom record for Golden back last October. Sold it for 89K. Wow. You get a low print card of a bomb future Hall of Fame player? Woo! The Brady of this card for this year sold for 186000 Yeah. Brady. Yeah. But you know where those cards are going. Ridiculous. Yeah. So that'd be a million dollar car one. Yeah. Oh, cool, the Brady went for 186, the Burrow did 40, the Mac Jones did 40. So kind of a crazy story how we got it. I mean, pretty boring. Like some guy just walked up to our booth at a local show and was like, here, like, would you guys be interested in buying it? And I was like, yeah, sure. No, those are the stories behind huge cars, though. Yeah. Those are the stories. Bro, it was a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you. All right. You can see us kind of chilling out, walking the show. And then we turn the corner, we're at a table, and we bump into Alex from Union Marketplace. How you doing, bro? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Good to see you, man. What you got here, though, bro? I'll show you kind of what I'm... So I picked this uh, raw uh, at a show. You picked up raw? I picked up raw. Okay. And I think these white sparkles grade pretty good, uh, relatively speaking. Uh, they're limited to 20. Trevor Lawrence, so to be honest, I'm not a huge Trevor Lawrence fan, nor a Jacksonville fan, but, you know, quarterbacks on in the season, spec plays. I'm, a, I'm big on spec plays. So yep. I picked that up pretty cheap, got it graded, cost me a little bit, and I'm either going to sell it around now or right before the season. That's normal. That's my move with that. Now this card, funny as you ask, this card I really like because there's history behind that. But if you guys don't know the history behind the card, uh, and obviously as the late young golf, this card is actually really hard to grade. It's usually these paper cards, right, get a little bit tougher to grade. This one's actually limited to 99, so I haven't really seen too many of these. I haven't seen a 10 too, too often at all. No, I don't see very many 10s, and then I, ne I never see a numbered one, so. It's a blue out of 99, John Moran. Picked it up in Vegas at the Vegas show. I got one of these, and then one numbered to 149 for 700 bucks. And some people thought that was kind of high, but I think any car that has history behind it. So, perfect example is the Mark Jackson car. Yeah, man, yeah. that knows the story that it tells. So, I was thinking, like, this is a good pickup mom car. I mean, Young Dolph was a pretty niche artist, but he was nonetheless, like, he was a known artist. And I'm dabbing a little bit in F1, so I picked that up in a trade. Max. Uh, I forget what the trade was, but I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn F1. So, we all are, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The best way to learn for me is. Put my money in. Yeah. And then I got uh, just a uh, Lamello I picked up pretty cheap. I numbered to 49. I'm trying to stick to numbered, low pop stuff. Uh, it's a debut card, but I figured, you know, at some point Lamello's going to be liquid. More liquid than he is now. Prices are kind of dropping, but like that's my that's my logic there. So I think if someone is like a mellow collector, I could probably make a play with that. Number to 49. There's not many comps, obviously. So that's kind of like what I'm doing. I'm running around today and I'm seeing if I can make any deals happen with that. You got nice cards in your hand, bro. Yeah, appreciate that, man. You know we gotta get a picture, bro. Oh, absolutely. We leave Alex. It's always good to see him. We walk down the aisle a little bit, make a right, turn the corner. I'm excited. I see a card in the case. It's a PMG, and it's a Marvel car. Watch this. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's your skill bump? I'm asking you for 500. Can I see that card? Yeah, of course. How could you pass this up? 500? I'm gonna pop it. You locked in at 500? Uh, cash or trade? Be Venmo. I can do 450. No 400? Do you 400? Just stepped into something here. Michael B. Jordan. The other Michael Jordan. Appreciate that, B. Bro. We did one other deal before on that uh, Willie Mays car. Yeah, that was okay. the last time here. Yeah. yeah. I don't forget my people, man. Yes, sir. Nice. Thank you. So I'm here with my man Ryan, and I just jumped into the PMG world of Marvel. We got a Killmonger car. Michael B. Jordan. My man Ryan Lee hooked it up. One of a kind. Top Come five. On, yes, sir. Bro. Appreciate you, FD. Thank you, Thank bro. Thank you, G. Yep. Next up, I see two of my favorite vendors. We get into a conversation about two cards. This is the kind of talk I like in the hobby at shows. Are we gonna close out or what? Oh yeah. Seriously. Man. Yeah, it's, it's about done. Tell me. 
It's about done. Mm -hmm. Warriors and six, bro. I want to see seven. I'll bet you gonna see it. Warriors and six. We already six. talked about this card. Oh, yeah. oh you guys did? You saw it. Yeah. Saw it. I saw it at uh, LA Proper. Yeah. I'm trying to trade him straight up here. I don't know. Okay. Okay, without looking up the comps. Yeah, what, what would you, you rather have? I don't know which the seven is valued at. Okay. Well without looking so I got mad love for Dennis Rodman though, bro. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, but this is a great card. And you go to all these shows, how many have you seen? Right. If I had a seven here, I would crack this card, get all three to sign it, and get that regraded. That's a lot of work. Man. It's a lot of work, but you know a seven graded with all ten autographs? Plus for what? A lot. So he'd rather have this one too. I'd probably rather have this to do that. Only because of that. Only because I've seen the values of what those cards are. So, so without that being said, prompts, this goes for like all value of this is like 21, but the last five this sales. Is not full See? This is full brain. This is 3500 full brain. Thank you. All, Thank you. all the comps. But he also said he'd rather have this. No, so, but, but, but why, why would he rather? Because he's going to sign it. Yeah, because I'm going to do all the stuff with it. But all the last five comps are at 22 to 25. And all value says it's 21 because the market is down. Who cares, yeah. right? Yeah, who cares? That's more than a $2,100 uh, car, though. This is low. What's the pop on this? Very low. 300 230 for 88 flare is very low. How many have you seen? Yours is the first I've seen in person. So this, anyway, this is an iconic car. A seven is a high grade. What's the what's the top on that? 1750 is. Yeah. Could be more. But this went. This has been going. If you can look up comp, you'll probably find 2500 dollars comps on this as recent as couple oh, yeah. That's where it. we're at. Well, we appreciate your input. Hey, bro, I'm here all day. You know, I, I love talking cars, bro. <laughs> My man. Good seeing you. Way. It's a good seeing y'all. It's crazy. Wow, that's nice, man. Yeah. bro. <laughs> that's nice, bro. Wow. He won this one, didn't he? Against Jordan. What's the price on that? Two fifty. Yeah, I think he won at eighty-five. 80, that's eighty-five, right? Mm -hmm. Jordan also has a. Uh, he's like number five in the same set. That's a nice car, man. Dominique. Nice price. Good. Damn, man. What's up, good? Some furries. <laughs> Look at this. I knew you. I was gonna see you today. No, not really. How much is that? He's like, I can't, and it's the same price. <laughs> 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 no, you said that was 250. I know, I know. But I know the way he was hard. I know the way. I know the way. He went way under something. Yeah, yeah, but I, yeah, but I knew FD's way too hard. I was going a little like this. bit of James Wise. After I talked to, I watched him a little bit. I was like, okay. Right, 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 right. So I picked that up. You, 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 you got him on the line now. You just gotta set the hook. 200, huh? Hold this down. We'll come back. I will. I will hold it down right here. Won't even go in the case, my friend. Thank you, bro. Uh, you want to hear your story on that one? We traded that. We got it. We bought it raw. Let me see that car. You got it raw? We bought it raw. Had it graded. Okay. Get a show in Fairfield. Yeah. Guy came up, traded it for this LeBron cash. Okay. So I'm like, okay, cool. You know, we'll do that. About three or four months later, I see this on eBay. I'm like, I really like that card. I like That's the color. Card. It's beautiful. Number. I sent him an offer. Just, all right, man, no problem. So it came back on. It's nice car, man. <laughs> I have so much coming back. Oh, this Bay Roof is cool. Oh, you want to see our pickups today, man? Yeah. We, we picked up some solid stuff for that. Solid. These are rookie cards. A pack. Flip star. Flip star. He signed every single one of them for us. Got a bio on the back and everything. Look at that. <laughs> That's wild, man. The of the <laughs> That's cool, bro. I customized a couple of them for my mom, even. That's very cool. Here's a nice little autograph. Hey, be careful. Put them back all through. Oh, really? <laughs> That's cool, man. Very cool. Thanks for showing me that. Oh, you can Dynasty Mode is in the house. We're at his show. We see him. It's always great to catch up with him. EJ! Uh, where are you going to next? Uh, trying to get to That's Dion. My Uncle Dion show in the Bay Area yeah. coming up. Dion, uh, wow. Man, shout out. Anybody in the Bay Area knows Dion shows. Cool. If you've ever been to a Dion show, How much pull this? up to Dion shows. The Card Attic 332322. I don't even remember. Go to thecardattic.com. But yes, that. Um, and then, of course, the National. Game be board. there, man, or at least try to be there. Shout out to Nash, me, shout out to everybody that that show. Yeah. And of course, shout out to everybody that's supported, man. It's been a great time. Newport Showcase, it's our first multi-day show. Incredible turnout, man. So many folks here, so many folks from out of town, out of state. Uh, nearly half of our dealers are from out of town, out of state. So, man, incredible time. And of course, our some of the best of the best dealers in Southern California. Shout out to Kay here, doing big things. But, uh, man, great time. Shout out to Rolling FD. And make sure you guys check us out August 26th to the 28th, the Burbank Card Show, as well as the 25th. You hear it first as a FD exclusive. The 25th, we will be <laughs> open for VIP and vendors, and we will have some of your favorite dealers, maybe some of your favorite grading companies. There it is. 
You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Flipstar posted it already, but it's okay. Yeah. Everything's got it. <laughs> I haven't given you one of these yet. No, sir. So I'll give you the rookie and the second year. Well, I appreciate you. Can I get a little inscription on that, man? A little something, something? Rolling. Rolling with FD. I appreciate you, sir. Look at that thumb. Fresh shot to kitchen. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Why, no I doubt. I got you. Guys, cool. appreciate you, man. No doubt, no doubt. Have a good one, guys. My man Patrick, a.k.a. Flipstar. It's always good to see him. Next, we roll to another table, and we go to New England, baby. Hey, how are you? How you doing? Good. What's new and exciting? You know, just picking up some football, uh, selling some. Oh, yeah. Just got some big hockey cards in. Hail the cars. To my front car. Oh, yeah. Thanks. A lot of people have been looking at that one. It's, it, it's out of 99, but it's only like top eight. Nice car. Yeah. How much is that Mike Jones go? The gold? I got 80 bucks on it. It's nice car, man. Yeah. Especially gold when the hobby has been on fire. You going lower than 80? Uh, let me check my book, see what I see what I did on it. You wanna check it out? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you see that? Yeah. Big win last night. Yeah. I'm selling some curries right now on uh, eBay. So. <laughs> I could do 75 on it. That's a nice card, man. 75? Yeah. Do Venmo? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Let's pick up this Mac Jones gold card from a man Jack here. Oh, yeah. Nice rated rookie. Max, you do have a huge season, so hopefully it pays off big for you. Nice. Go Warriors. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yeah. How you doing? You good? Good. Thank you. Good, man. What's up, man? What's up, dude? How you doing? What's up? We got the signature. Yeah, I got hooked up. Can't hook me up, bro. Gotta go get me some. How much? $13. Well, I'll just did $600. Can I see that card? I think it should be yeah. crap, to be honest with you. Nice car. Let's go a lot of 10. Nice car, bro. If you don't buy it now, it'll be a 10. It's going to be a lot more expensive now. Make sure you get it. Like the, I'll like, stay in contact with you on it though if you don't move it. Like that, uh, game Thank you, brother. I'm going to get some gear, man. A little Sasha rocking the gear. I'll get you one. It's in the car. There you go. Appreciate that. You're gonna have to rep it though, right? Of course, I'm gonna do that. Good cause. Yeah. What's the cause? My daughter's a Make a Wish child. So okay. In the past, Make a Wish uh, did some good things for her. So. How old is your daughter? She's now 20 years old. Okay. She was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's well, lymphoma at the age of four. Mm -hmm. Ten years old. Okay. She just turned ten. I give back to Make a Wish every year. Oh, I'll rock the hat, bro. Appreciate it. Thank you for telling me that story. Yeah. You have a good one, huh? Nice, man. Pop five. Ten, two. Oh, man, where'd you score this? Right over there. And I don't even do Marvel PMG. That jumped out at me, bro. Woo. Oh, man. That jumped out at me. My first PMG, man. Good job. I'm a huge Black Panther fan. Score anything else? I mean, we picked up this Mac Jones car. Everybody's been buying some Mac Jones. Why you been buying Mac Jones? What's the... Well, he's in a Bel Belichick system. Okay. When you're a quarterback in that system, you don't take chances. So that's why I think Mac Jones would be able to buy. Some kid yesterday traded a uh, Joe Burrow autograph for uh, Mac Jones. And I was like, why'd you do that? He goes, I just wanted to. Why do you think he did that? Because he wanted to. That's it. Can't think of any other reason why you do that. Not right now. Can't think of that. I can't think of why. Well, the one thing is because he said, well, the Mac Jones was the on card auto, but yet it was a lower grade because the Joe Burrow was a PSA 9 and the Mac Jones was a PSA 8. The Burrow Oh, yeah. I, Those are the things personally, that I... Personally, I would have kept the Burrow. Yeah, I would have kept the Burrow. So y'all know before I leave, I gotta go see my man Travis to see what's new at his table. He always has a great conversation and we find a very nice car. I paid for it. I paid four seventy-five tax and shipping. That was when he was hurt before he broke the record. Play off run or anything. So I know you do, travel. Yeah. Let me see that. What's the pop on it? You know, out of two ninety-nine. About twenty-three. Nice car, right? Series and they win. Nice car, bro. First year optic product ever. Number to ninety-nine. PSA. Like you know, it's gonna be a low pop forever. What's the price on that? I got the same thing, six hundred or six fifty. And what about that atomic? This I just lowered. I had this at seventeen hundred, and I just put it at seven. It's a pop one, number to thirty-five. But there's no pops. Nice car. Hundred percent transparency. I got that. I know how you get that. I gave a guy two K trade value for that, like during the hype, because the LeBrons out of ninety-nine were doing like a thousand, and I'm like Curry out of thirty-five. It's got to be roughly in that ballpark. But where the market is now and obviously being no comps and trying to be as fair as possible. And the die cut on it, man. <laughs> Which part do you like the best? <laughs> this is nice, right? You said 600? Brother, I always appreciate you. Third deal. I keep track, baby. So we got the Color Mash 2016 Panini Select Steph Curry Blue Prism from my man Travis. Here. Appreciate you. Great part, bro. Always a pleasure. Thank you, man. Absolutely.
two, there they are. Top two, they both right there. I like the that. Yeah. Out, I did the same thing when I saw it at the train night. I was just like, let me take a picture. Yeah. One story. I'm about to hit you with the recap. I'm about to hit you with the recap. About to hit you with the recap. So first up on the recap, this is the 2021 Mac Jones Donruss Gold Press Proof. This is a great card, and I wanted it because I don't have a lot of Mac Jones in my collection, and this is a lower price point card that is a good entry point. And it looks cool. Look at this. So next up, this is one of my favorite cars already thus far. And you all know that I don't collect a lot of Marvel and I don't do a lot of PMGs in my collection, but it all came together here. This is the 2018 Upper Deck Black Panther Killmonger card in a precious metal gem. This is a gem mint 10 and it's a pop five. Just look at this thing. And if y'all don't know, purple is my favorite color. So everybody out there, you all know how I feel about the Golden State Warriors embracing greatness. What they've done in eight years is very impressive. G and I walk in a show and I came across a card that I just couldn't pass up. We deliberated a little bit, but this had to be added to the PC. This here is the 2016 Panini Select Steph Curry Blue Prism out of 299 PSA 10 with a population of 23. And y'all know the chef is cooking. So I had to add this to the PC with other Steph cards that I have. This is a great addition. It just looks cool. Look at that. Looks like he's about to pull a three or throw a pass. So that's a summary of the cards we picked up to the Newport Showcase. This was a great show. EJ and his people put on a great show. Can't wait to go back to the next one. And all these ads are to the personal collection, baby. Mm. Hey, thank you all for watching today. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications button. This is how we bring you more content. And G and I are eager to do that. Until next time. Peace.